My parents named me Karin after my Swedish great-grandmother, Karin Svensson Berg. Karin was my mother's father's mother, or in Swedish, my more far more. My mother told me a wonderful story about how Karin, her Swedish grandmother, came to America. Karin Svensson was from Usby, Sweden. In the late 1800s, she was a University of Lund, Sweden, educated woman who was teaching school in her hometown of Usby. Karin was engaged to be married to Andrew Berg, a young man from Usby who had previously immigrated to America with his brother Nils. Karin and Andrew corresponded, and the plan was for Karin to join on Andrew in America when, where they could be married. Sadly, Andrew died here in Minnesota before Karin could come over. Nils was going through Andrew's letters and found the correspondence between Andrew and Karin. Although Nils and Karin had never met, Nils wrote to Karin and said, if you still want to come to America, you can come over and marry me. Karin agreed. She traveled alone by steamship across the Atlantic and then by train to Mora, Minnesota. Nils met her at the train depot and they were married at the Kennebec County Courthouse in Mora. From there, they traveled by horse and buggy to Nils's home in Wacon, Minnesota on Mille Lacs Lake, which is about 30 miles northwest of Mora. My grandfather, Arthur Berg, their only child, was born in 1903. Karin and Nils lived in Wacon the rest of their lives. And after my mother died, I found a box among her things, a tin box from the 1800s, late 1800s, that had been Karin's. And when I opened the box, I found several things, but among those things was a tiny box with Andrew's picture in it. Karin had never forgotten her first love. And they, they grew up in the same town in Usby, and that's why I'm sure Karin met Aunt Andrew, but she had never met his brother Nils, and so it's just an amazing story. Um, uh, I wouldn't be here today if they hadn't met and married. And my mother uh, gave me many things that Karin brought from Sweden, uh, including the, the um, basket box that she carried with her on the boat across from uh, Sweden to America, which I have, and she had written her name, painted her name, Karin Svensson on the front. I also uh, have that my mother gave me a uh, egg, uh, a coddled egg set, six, six silver set of coddled eggs, which Karin's school children in 1902, the year she left Sweden, had uh, given her, and inscribed on that uh, egg uh, coddle set is, uh, from grateful school children to Karin Svensson, their teacher, and it has the date in 1902. They also gave her, which my mother gave me, um, a, a silver decorative chalice, sort of wide chalice, that also has the engravings on it with that same engraving. She also brought with her many things um, like those, but also I think things that reminded her of home because she knew when she was leaving she'd never go back. Our family is important to us, as I'm sure it is to many people. And um, uh, our, our immigrant story is, is one that um, has right, this wonderful, uh, fun, and amazing story. Um, so uh, I, I love to pass that on to my children, and I'm, I appreciate the opportunity to pass it on to everyone.